Hello everyone, my name is Charles with Millennium Runs and Leasing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly configure your tornado machine for your fire blowing experience. Let's get started with our collets on the sides. So we have two sets of collets. You can have an entry and an exit side. They will be based on the diameter, the OD, of the fiber being used. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, in, this, in this segment, we'll be using 16 to 20 millimeter collets. Uh, the, all the fiber collets, the guides do come in 4 millimeter increments, but the seals come in 2 millimeter increments to give you a better fit around that, that fiber that you will be using in the field. Once you put the collet in, make sure it's secured down properly. And then based on your fiber size, we need to make sure that our slides are correct. So we're using gold collets, we want to make sure our gold is, is correct the size with the, with the fiber size, so we'll turn this to slide it up to make sure our arrow lines up correctly. And I don't know the proper size today, so we'll just use this as an example. Now we'll do the other side. And again, this is the side that has to be secured with the air chamber. So you see we have the proper gaskets. We have to make sure that everything is sealed correctly or we will, we will lose pressure. All right, so now we have the, the collet in. Again, I mentioned that these gold collars are 16 to 20 millimeter. We have two different sizes. As you can see, this can have two gold stripes. This is the higher side of the spectrum. It's going to be 18 to 20. This has one gold stripe. The lower side of the spectrum is going to be 68 to 18. In this, in this example today, we will be using a one stripe. So it will be the six, 16 to 18. See, it fits a little loose, but we're going to secure it with this. So we'll slide both of these on. Always make sure your flat side faces in towards the belts. You want the air pressure to hit, hit the back side and make sure it expands correctly. Also make sure your slits are opposite. Do not have them both at 12 o'clock. So we're gonna put, I usually put one at six and one at 12, just to make sure it looks good and I can see the top to know. If I can't see the slit here, I know I'm good. Once that's on, we'll put the top on and that side's ready to go. Now the next thing we'll worry about is going to be the duck seal. The duck seal has to be placed with the seal side down. Again, we want to keep the gasket ring around and make sure the air stays inside. Top side as well, you see there's no seal here, no seal nowhere on top. So we'll put this down and we'll go ahead and lock it in place. All right, from here we want to make sure that this lip here sits flush with this bevel here. By doing so, it's going to get a good seal around the seal here and allow it to lock in place. We'll go ahead and add the other side of this duct clamp down so that once we turn the air on and this thing starts moving, it won't blow the duct out. Once this is locked down in place, we can now make sure it lines up good. We'll tighten this down. And this is the only thing that we want to tighten down with, with a wrench. Again, we want to make sure this thing is safe and secure so as it's working, it's operating, it doesn't blow this out. There we go. Close the chamber. This side here, hand tight only. As you induce air into, into this chamber, it will automatically tighten itself. You'll notice that once you go to open it up, it's going to be way tighter than what it is when you first put it down. Now that the machine is configured correctly for your fiber size OD, your duct size OD, you're ready to hook up your hydraulics. Make sure your nozzle is off. Hook up your air. Make sure, again, the chamber is off. And then you have one the extra ability that we'll discuss very quickly. All right, so the, another extra ability we have is we can actually angle this machine down to get us, get us a better angle to go into the hand hole in which we'll be blowing in. So you'll pull this pin here. You'll pull out this big safety rod. You have to lift the machine up again. It is kind of heavy, so watch out. And then you will pick which one you want. Three different sizes, as you can see. I'm going to simulate with the lowest one. And as you see, the angle is drastically different. So at this point, we'll be pulling from the rail through the machine, straight into the duct. 